In this video, I am going to show you how to connect the iPhone to a projector using screen mirroring. The projector we have is the VanQ Leisure 470. First, we have to turn on the projector and then set the input to screen mirroring. On the iPhone, go to Settings and you should see that Leisure 470. Uh, so you have to uh, select that as your Wi-Fi. If this is your first time to connect to the Leisure 470 as your Wi-Fi, you will have to enter the password before you can connect and the password is just 12345678. Next is uh, uh, go to screen mirroring, so just swipe up or what, however way you have to uh, yeah get this from your phone so you should see that leisure 470 and once you see a check mark at the end that means you are already connected to the uh, projector and this is what it shows when it's projected uh, in my case I have projected this on my wall only let's just get out from there for now and first I'm going to try uh, opening the YouTube and I'm just gonna pick uh, a video to play okay let's uh, let's uh, pick that and there it is it's working so on my previous video uh, iPad connecting to a projector using screen mir mirroring it does not work because uh, uh, it requires YouTube playing a YouTube requires an internet connection so that one is no internet connection it says and there's no data plan on that I iPad that I used to on my previous video that's why the YouTube does not play so in here because I'm using my phone and it it has a data plan so even even if it says no internet connection uh, but uh, since I have a data plan and that allows me to still play a YouTube video which requires an internet uh, connection to change the video into full screen mode you can just turn the phone into a landscape mode it will automatically change to a full screen but if it will not do that you have to tap manually the icon that there should be a square icon on the right corner or uh, at the bottom and uh, it will still turn into a uh, full screen mode uh, now I will let you hear once I uh, turn the volume up <laughs> and now let's try connecting to Netflix to the projector using a screen mirroring let's just select a video from here okay let's pick that and this is now the problem if I'm going to watch just a preview or a trailer it does connect my iPhone or the video connect to the uh, projector so I can watch it uh, however if I'm going to play the full video or or watch the full movie it does not allows me let's say if I'm going to click play from here this is what it will show all black on the wall however it the full video still shows on my phone but the audio is the only one connected on the uh, projector so this is just from my phone I can watch it from my phone the audio is connected to the projector so something like that but I do have recommendations later uh, so you can no hassle so you can connect both the audio and the video um, to your projector this time let's check out the Amazon Prime uh, movies so let's say for example I'm going to uh, pick this uh, movie if I'm going to play this movie the uh, same as Netflix it will only show uh, like that it will not move or do anything but it will show the movie will play on my phone so something like that it does play on my phone same at, same as Netflix only the audio is connected to the projector but not the video and now this is what I recommend for you to buy a Chromecast or any cast or Myra cast or any other wireless screen display adapter uh, so that uh, you will have a smooth uh, streaming or 
or no hassle, no problem. If you want to connect to your phone uh, to watch a movie, even YouTube and, and Netflix or uh, Amazon Prime movies, so you, you won't have a problem uh, connecting them as long as you have uh, this one. So uh, what I have right now is a Chromecast and, and besides, it's not only uh, the projector you can use this with. You can also use this one uh, to your TV or a monitor or uh, other things. So anyway, it's really good to have a Chromecast or any wireless uh, screen display adapter. To connect the Chromecast to the projector is very simple. So on one of the side there, you should see uh, those two ports, HDMI 1 and 2. You just pick one, let's say HDMI 1. Uh, let's connect it to there. And, uh, and uh, you might have to select the input. You would have to change the input. So uh, from there, uh, you can use either the button from the uh, uh, projector or use uh, the remote. Just click the input there and uh, select, select HDMI 1 because that's the port we connect to the Chromecast. And uh, from there, so it means the Chromecast is now connected to the projector. Once the Chromecast is connected to the projector, it is now easy to watch videos from YouTube, Amazon Prime, or Netflix to connect to the projector. Let's say, for example, if you're going to watch a video from YouTube, so just let's just play this one over there, and let's just change it to, to a full screen mode, just tap that square on that corner. And uh, so uh, if you want to uh, connect this, this is from the phone, if you want to connect this to your projector, just tap anywhere on the video. So tap anywhere and uh, you should see that square right there, just uh, tap that. And uh, now I have named my Chromecast as Leaving Room TV, so just tap that. And there it is, so it's now playing. So this is now what it projects on the wall. Let's try the Netflix using Chromecast. So just tap Netflix and select wh which videos you wanted to watch. Let's say for example this one and just hit play and from here again you will see this one here on the, this one, th that one. Just tap that and select uh, the Chromecast. So again I named my Chromecast as uh, Living Room uh, TV so I tap that. And let's try to play this movie. And there it is. It's so easy to connect to, to the projector using a Chromecast. Let's just forward this one a little bit. And uh, by the way, so this is not uh, a screen mirroring anymore because we're using a Chromecast. So the connection is something different. So we use the HDMI port to connect uh, to this uh, projector. Let me turn the volume up so you can hear a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so there it is. By the way, if you just wanted to watch YouTube videos and you do not want to watch uh, Netflix or Amazon Prime movies, then you should be good. You don't need to purchase that Chromecast or any cast. Uh, just make sure that your cellular data is, is turned on. So again, this is if you want to watch YouTube videos uh, to connect to, to the uh, this type of projector using a screen mirroring. So what you do, as I mentioned, make sure your uh, cellular data is turned on. So go to settings and from here, so you will see this cellular data. Uh, make sure it's, uh, it's turned on. So it says there cellular, cellular data is on because if it's turned off, um, it will not uh, like it won't play your uh, YouTube video will not uh, play uh, or will not connect to the uh, projector. And by the way, if in case you connected to the uh, projector uh, using screen mirroring and it happens that your cellular data is uh, turned off, then you will notice, I'm sorry, it's a little, it's blurred. It's, it's at the end, at the bottom, it says no connection. So that means um, the YouTube video you wanted to watch, it will not uh, play.
So if you want to watch a YouTube videos uh, using a screen mirroring with this type of projector, just remember to turn on your cellular data or data plan. And another indication uh, to know if you're connected, you should see on top uh, of your phone. If you see LTE in there, that means you are connected to the internet. Well, that's it for today and thanks again guys for watching. Until next time.